let's learn about the difference between prime numbers and composite numbers. Prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors. Composite numbers are numbers that have three or more factors. A factor is a number that is multiplied times another factor to get to a product such as six. These two numbers are the factors of six. All right, so let's determine um, whether or not some particular numbers are indeed prime numbers or not. We'll start with the number two. One, the number one is neither prime nor composite. But let's start with the number two and let's list out all the factors for the number two. Starting with one times two. Here's a factor, here's a factor. Are there any other numbers that we can multiply to get to the number two? No, there's really not. Okay, so two would be listed under the prime category. So let's just put two right here under prime. Okay, let's look at three. The number three. List out your factors for three. One times three. And that, those are the only numbers that you can multiply to get to three. So that is one factor, two factors, and the definition of a prime number is it has two factors. So it is also listed under prime. So if we're going down just the first few numbers, one to 10, and we wanna list whether they're prime or composite, let's look at four quickly. Number four, one times four, but you also can say two times two. And so two, you wouldn't list two twice because it's the same digit, but look how many factors that four has. One, two, three. So this is a composite number, four, because it has three factors. So we would put four over here. Let's look at the number five. One times five. Is there any other way to get to five? No. So five is a prime number. Are you noticing every time we have a prime number that we're multiplying the actual number itself times one? So that is also a characteristic of prime numbers. It only has two factors and it's gonna be the factor of the number itself times one, always for prime numbers. All right, so let's take a look quickly at the number six. Listing the factors out for six. We can list them as one times six, but we also can say two times three. And we have one, two, three, four factors. So this is gonna be a composite number. Now, I bet you're getting the hang of this. I bet you already can think of seven and know that there's no other way to get to seven but one times seven. So that is, you would be correct if you were thinking that. It is a prime number. And so the same thing with eight. I bet you already know that listing with eight, one times eight, two times four, is there anything times three or times, and then four that's already listed? So here are four factors. So eight is composite. All right, so I want us to take a look at some more composite and prime numbers. If you take a look at, let's compare to see whether 42 is prime or composite, then we're also gonna take a look at 43 and determine whether it's prime or composite. So, Looking at 42, most of you already know your multiplication facts really well and you know the factors for 42. You're thinking, oh, seven times six. And so you know that one times 42 and you, at least you know that seven times six or six times seven is 42. Now there are other factors as well for 42. You could say two, times 21. But just to determine whether it's prime or composite, you don't have to list out all the factors. You just have to know 
Is it two factors or is it three or more? And we know that this is definitely three or more. So 42 is going to be definitely composite. When you look at 43, most of you are going to also be able to determine because you know your facts so well, you're going to be able to say, you know, I don't know of a factor that I can multiply to get to 43. That's just not in my memory bank. And so you're, you know that 1 times 43 is 43, but you can't think of anything else that you can multiply to get to 43. And you would be right because that's it. Those are your only two numbers. And this one would be prime. But you're going to reach a point, these numbers are going to get bigger and bigger. So at some point you're going to reach a point where you don't know the factors for some of these larger numbers because you don't know maybe your 15s, but your multiplication facts, or your 16s or your 17s, okay? So that's going to take another um, way to determine that. Let me show you what I mean. So let's look at the number 51. Most of you are probably thinking, well, I don't know of any factor that I could multiply to get to 51. So it looks to me that this would be a prime number. So, but in this case, you just can't look at a number and say, oh, that looks like a prime number or it looks like a composite number. Because in actuality, this one has the factors of 3 times 17. 3 times 17 is 51 in addition to 1 times 51. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is actually a composite number even though you did not maybe recognize because you might not know your 17s. So you have to, when you get to these larger numbers, a good method is either to look at a chart and see these yellow highlighted numbers. These are your prime numbers. And for the larger ones, there's not that many. And it's probably just a good idea to just memorize these larger numbers that are the prime numbers. Okay. All right. So in recapping what we've learned today, prime number has two factors. Composite number has three factors or more. Let's determine whether these are a C or a P. 13. 1 times 13. Two factors. It has to be a P. 16. 1 times 16. 2 times 8. Oh, that's more. 3 or more. That's a C. 22. This is a tricky one and this is one that I've seen students make the mistake on. They think 1 times 22 and they think that's it. But don't forget 2 times 11. So that's three or more factors. That is composite. The number 23. 1 times 23. Anything else? So two factors. That is a prime number. 43. 1 times 43. Is there anything else to get to 43? No. So that is also a prime number. Okay. So just remember two factors for prime and it's always the number itself times one. Composite numbers are three or more factors. Thanks for watching.